Gas prices hitting historic new highs on Tuesday in the United States, up 17 cents in just the last week to hit a record $4.37 a gallon. U.S. consumers are unhappy. I don't even look at how many gallons anymore or what their dollar amount is anymore because it's expensive everywhere, everywhere. It's another blow to the U.S. economy and President Joe Biden's White House. I heard the first first heard the term working poor and I said, that's us. That's we're working. Much. We're working. Our full time and we we're still working. having a hard time maintaining, managing, being able to buy groceries, gas. Under pressure to help consumers, Biden on Tuesday insisted his policies are fighting inflation. I know you got to be frustrated, frustrated by high prices, by gridlock in Congress, by the time it takes to get anything done. Believe me, I understand the frustration. He blamed rising prices on the global pandemic and on the war in Ukraine. But he also attacked Republicans for pushing an ultra mega agenda referring to former President Donald Trump's Make America Great Again policies he believes do not align with mainstream American values. The Republican plan is to increase taxes on the middle class families, let billionaires and large companies off the hook as they raise profits, raise prices and reap profits at record number, record amounts. And it's really that simple. Biden insists if Republicans are elected to control Congress in November's midterm elections, they'll end social spending that millions rely on, like medical care for the poor and elderly. Biden once insisted high prices, supply chain shortages, and record high inflation on basics like food and rent was temporary. But that's no longer the case. Inflation has more than wiped out the average worker's wage gains. President Biden has handed the average American a big pay cut, a pay cut. Polls show on the issue of the economy, more Americans trust Republicans' policies than President Biden's. With approval ratings in the low 40 percent and with congressional midterm elections just months away, record high inflation has become a political liability for the president. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, The White House.